All right, everybody, what's up? So we got us a little integral here to solve. So what do we do? Well, it looks, it looks kind of complicated, but really it's not. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is we want to distribute this e to the x squared. So that's going to give me the integral 2x squared e to the x squared plus e to the x squared dx. And then I want to separate this into two separate integrals. So that's going to be the integral 2x squared e to the x squared dx plus the integral e to the x squared dx. All right. So now, looking at this thing, this this integral over here, there's not, I don't see a whole lot I can, I can do with it, so let's just leave it alone for right now. But over here on this one, all right, we're going to have to do a little bit to it, a little rewriting it. So I'm going to write this as x times 2x e to the x squared dx and then plus e to the x squared dx. So, so what did I do here? Well, I wrote x squared as x times x. And why did I do that? Well, I can now use uh, integration by parts. Because, see, I can integrate this term now. You see that? I can integrate this. And then, so I'll let this part be dB and this part be U. So I'm going to let U equal X. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to, well, I'll just, never mind. I was going to do it in a different color, but I'm not. And then I'm going to let dV equal 2X e to the X squared dx. So obviously here we get du is equal to dx. And now what I have to do is I have to integrate this part. So let's just, let, let's come over to the side and do that. So if I integrate 2x e to the x squared dx, okay? So, you know, you can use a u substitution here u equals x squared, the exponent, let u equal the exponent, and then du is 2x dx. So you see, I've got the 2x dx, there's 2x dx, so I can replace that with du and replace the x squared with u. So that's going to give me e to the u du, which is e to the u, and yes, plus c. And so e is equal to x squared. I'm going to put the x squared back in for the u. All right. So this v is just equal to e to the x squared. All right. When I integrate this part. And so parts, that's going to give me x e to the x squared minus the integral of e to the x squared dx, okay? Now, keep in mind, this part right here is this, integrated. And then I have to do plus, plus this part. So plus the integral e to the x squared dx, all right? And then look what happens. These go out. Say I've got a negative and a positive, that goes to zero. So that's x e to the x squared plus c. And there's my answer. All right. So, you know, it looked like a complicated problem to solve. And, and you know, the, the thing about it, yes, it would be complicated if you didn't split that x squared up into x times x. But once you once you saw once you see to do this, 
it's really pretty easy to work. So, you know, just a random problem, something a little more complicated than what you're used to seeing, maybe. So I hope this helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Later.